Hi everyone, it's Evangeline here at eTrailer and today we're taking a look at our Titan chain snow tire chains with twist links in a ladder style pattern right here on our 2022 Ram 3500. So there's different types of tire chains for different types of weather. If you're expecting a lot and a lot of ice, you need the extra traction, you might want these ladder chains, but the ones that have the studs or the V bars. If you're expecting a lot of snow or a lot of mud, that's where these twist link chains come in handy. So we'll talk about how these chains fit around your 3500 as well as how to install it later in this video. So these are made in a ladder pattern. There's usually two types. Your more premium chains will have the diamond pattern and your traditional chains will have the ladder pattern. So expect to hear ba bump ba bump as you drive around. These are gonna be heavy duty twist chains though. So the twist chains are gonna help with that noise. They won't be as noisy as if you had cleats on them and they are made of a low carbon steel. Chains made of that low carbon steel are designed to be a lot more durable and a lot more sturdy. So compared to the other alloys like the nickel alloy that's designed to be more corrosion resistant, this one's great for those extreme weather conditions Although if you are using it for multiple seasons, I do recommend just double checking your chains and making sure they still look good before you put them on. So these chains actually have an extra cam adjuster and that way when you put the chains on, even if you don't get it right the first time with your adjustment down here, you can use this cam tightener included with your chains in order to get that extra tension in there. Even so, I still recommend picking up these extra rubber tensioners because as you drive around, there might be a little bit of shifting of your chains. These will shift with it and create that continuous tension. Now the tires we got on this truck are size 235 80R17. If you're not sure what your tire size is, just double check there on the sidewall of your tire. Knowing that is going to be very helpful because as you use the eTrailer.com website, you can put in your exact year, make, model, and then pick your tire size, and that way you can get the best fit for you. So when your chains arrive, they are going to arrive in this canvas bag. So when you do want to reuse your chains, you can put them back into the bag. I do recommend using a rubber band or a zip die to tighten that back down. So not as reusable as some of the other tire chains which arrive in a hard shell or a soft shell case, but still convenient to keep in your truck for when you need it. Now, since you do have your larger tires, you got your dually tires, just make sure you have enough space for it and make sure you do get those two bags. So like I said, there's different types of chains for different types of adventures. If you're expecting a lot of deep snow, but you also need a little bit of extra grip on the ice, this is gonna be a good choice for you. I always recommend the ones with the cams just because it doesn't hurt to get that extra tension on your tires. If you're expecting more ice than snow, Take a look at the either square links or the twist links with the V bars to give you that extra traction on the road. The install process is going to be a little bit involved. You are going to have to reach behind your wheels in order to tighten down those links. You may have to drive forward onto the chains. So let's take a look at that process. When you get your tire chains, what I recommend doing is automatically just going into your garage, setting them up, and then practicing how to set it up on your tires before you're stuck by the side of the road in the cold. This is also a good time just to double check that everything's still in place and that all of the lengths look good and they're not twisted or tangled. Some things to look out for is going to be that it's facing the right way. So notice here how we have these hooks you want the hooks away from your tire and the flat portion on your tire. So I currently have the flat part of the hook on the ground right now. Once you've confirmed that everything looks good, it's now time to grab the chains by the center and then drape them over your tires. So since you have two tires, you wanna get the center part in towards the middle and then get the other end of the chain as much as you can over the other tire. Now you want an equal length of chain on each side. This is gonna make it so much easier for you to tighten down the hooks and the links. So speaking of that, 
here at the end you have one two and three links so we're going to start with the middle one what you can do is you can either roll forward and then get this where it's on the outside to make it easier or if you have small hands like me you can actually attach the hook through the middle of the tires so we have a pretty good fit here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to bring the lever here from the back and let's put this on the second link we'll bring it through we'll tighten it down we'll secure that extra lever and then we're gonna use the cam tightener to tighten those other chains here in the back. So you can see here in the front how I was able to get the lever through the link. And then I use the lever to get that tension. So it's, it's a little bit of back and forth, just getting the right tension on both sides of the tire. This looks really good. You just wanna make sure that you get enough cams turned. So let's clip this and turn those cams. So we have four cams and what I like to do is I try to get as tight in the back so I don't have to turn as many cams because some of them are over by the wheel well. But in the front we have a little bit more movement. So this is it in its loose position. You turn it to tighten it. Let's do it for the others. So with just those three cams tightened down, we have really good tension here. Now there's this other thing that I use, which is gonna be the rubber tensioners though. I add these on just to get a little bit of an extra fit. That way, as you go along the road and you're hitting rocks or ice, your chains are gonna adjust and move around. This will adjust with it. And just like that, we've finished installing these tire chains. So do the same thing on the other side. If you're doing the method where you drive onto the tire chains, just do them both together. But other than that, that's it for the install. I do recommend driving forward or backward a couple feet once you have those tire chains on there, just to make sure everything is in place. But once that's good, you're good too. And that right there was a look at our Titan chain snow tire chains with twist links in a ladder style pattern right here on our 2022 Ram 3500.